So I'm making a prototype. I call it color block sweater. Um, and what it is, is it is going to be, I'm on the third panel now, but a four part panel sweater. And what you do, or what I've done, is I've started <clears throat> at the sleeve and do my ribbing, whatever kind of ribbing you want. And see, ribbing is identical on the front side and on the back side. And that was about 30 stitches. So um, I added a, a one more stitch to make it kind of odd number. And I started doing seed stitch. The nice thing about seed stitch is it's reversible. See on this panel, this is one side, this is the other side. And they're, they're, they're identical. When I get, um, I add a few stitches about midway up. I'll keep on knitting till I get about midway. Um, and you can see where the stitch marker is. I added a few more stitches to make uh, the expansion underneath the arm. Then when I get here, I could probably show you with the gray one better because it's in progress right now. I finished the sleeve and then I've come up and I'm doing the long front panel which is connected to this to it <clears throat> I uh, do a back loop thumb cast on when I get to uh, the end of the sleeve stitches when I get to the end of the sleeve stitches I did a back loop cast on for about 30 stitches and then um, I'll knit back and come back and then uh, I'll do well I did 50 to begin with and then 30 at the end to get the length that I want <clears throat> all the way to the end then you're just knitting back and forth to create your front panel some of my knitting's loose and my yarn kind of I had to tie on a new ball um, but it's reversible on either side, so it doesn't matter if you're making left front, right front, left back, right back, it doesn't matter. Um, when I finish this one, I have one more panel to go. Uh, it will be a dark purple. Then I will join all these together, um, either by mattress stitch, or I'm thinking about along uh, the edge here doing um, kind of like you would an I-cord, except um, it would be one long, maybe 10 inch uh, piece that will connect both sleeves together and uh, maybe do a cable. Or uh, I might do mattress stitch, I don't know. Depends on how I like the look of it. Uh, these colors were just picked because they what I, they're what I had left over. You can make this all one color. Uh, you can make it several colors. You can change colors up and down through it and make long stripes. Um, I will show the joining process when I start it. But uh, this is just my little pattern. Um, you can make the width of your front panels as wide as you need them um, because they're gonna be half of the front. So, uh, but they're reversible. You don't have to worry. You just want to make sure that each piece you make, you make identical. And then that way you can uh, arrange them any way you want. <clears throat> so back to knitting. I've got to finish this one and do one more panel. And then we start joining for the fun part. And one thing about this, this is um, a little... It's DK yarn, but it's thicker DK yarn. It's not, it's not fingering weight. And um, the seed stitch has a wonderful drape. And I'm using a, uh, I don't know what size that is. I think it's a uh, six millimeter. Uh, six millimeter. This is the Rocket Square Knitting Needles, and I absolutely love them. Because when you use the thinner, slicker yarns, it uh, grasps the, the yarn much better. 
I can't get that to come in focus. Okay, but <clears throat> um, gauge is not important. Measurements are is the secret to this. Uh, you want to measure from your neck to where you want the, just like with any cardigan, where you want it to fall. You want to measure your breast. Uh, remember, there is a difference between um, uh, your back and your front if you're female. <laughs> so you want to make an allowance to where you have enough, ex uh, uh, what do they call that? Not expansion, but ease to where when you sew it all together that the front meets and the back uh, comes to your sides. But this is just an experiment. I wanted to just try... Uh, making the four pieces and making them uh, reversible. If I do probably the mattress stitch, this will be totally reversible. It won't matter if I wear it inside out or not until I put the pockets on it because I have to have pockets. So pockets will probably, what I'll do when I get it completely together sewn is in the front, um, I will do what kind of like a button band in another maybe black or maybe another contrasting color uh, to go all the way up and around the neckline uh, you can continue it at the neckline and make a hood if you want a hood you can uh, do a complete button band and do actual buttonholes um, I tend to hold my cardigans closed just with my pockets so um, I will probably do pockets and uh, just a plain band with no buttons but with the uh, uh, with this stitch with the uh, seed stitch that I'm using I could probably sneak and put little small buttons if I absolutely decide I want to have buttons um, but there we go that's stage one of the color block sweater hope you like it if you have any questions just ask me I will post my pattern in uh, under the video once I get the final video shot. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.